Hello everyone. Today we have two easy questions from numbers. The first one is if HCF of two numbers is 127 and their sum is 1651, what are the numbers if they differ by the minimum possible amount? So obviously one of them will be 127x, 127 into x, another one would be 127 into y, where we can say that 127 will be the HCF and x, y, these will be co prime. Now their sum is 1651, so 127x plus 127y, this will be equal to 127x plus y, this will be equal to 1651. Now we can cancel this 1651 by 127, so we'll be getting x plus y equal to, this will be 13, 1651 upon 127, it is 13. Now only one condition has to be kept in mind the number should differ by minimum possible amount. So that means the value of x and y must be as close as possible because one number is 127x, another number is 127y, the difference has to be minimum. 127 is common, so only difference would be created due to these x and y. So x and y should be as close as possible. So what can be the values of x and y? It will be 6 and 7. These are the closest values. So one of the numbers would be 127 into 7 another would be 127 into 6 these will be the numbers now you can calculate their values this will be 889 this will be 762 let us try to solve second question now a post office has stamps of rupees 5 7 and 9 which of the following cannot be achieved by buying exactly 100 stamps now here we can solve this question within seconds we can see here that rupees 5 is odd 7 is also odd and 9 is also odd and we have to buy exactly 100 stems. So we can say that we'll be adding 100 odd numbers. So if we add 100 odd numbers, we know that a sum of two odd numbers always leads to an even number. So that directly means that sum of 100 odd numbers, it will also be even. So if the sum of 100 odd numbers has to be even, this option C here, it is odd 675. So this is the only sum that is not possible if we buy 100 stems of rupees 579. The number of these stems of rupees 579, it could be different. So here we directly have to go through the options. All other sums, they can be achieved because they are even numbers and sum of 100 odds, it will be even but in no case it will be odd. So C will be the correct answer over here. This sum can never be achieved. So I hope the explanation is clear. If there is any doubt, please ask again. Thank you.